<clears throat> so, just gonna, just gonna, let's play some Dinga Doll. I thought I'd boot this up after a long time. We're playing hard mode, and we're playing. Oh, what's the name of the cup again? Aku Cup or Uka Cup? It said on the first screen. Uh, on hard mode, because I haven't done hard mode yet, and for some reason everyone keeps viewing these videos over all my other videos, so I uh, guess we're gonna just keep playing Crush Bandicoot forever. <laughs> Seriously, you're freaks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I looked at my analytics, and it's just biker mice from Mars and Crash Bandicoot stuff, and Spyro stuff, and I'm like, these are your best performing videos, and I'm just like, god, you're all furries. <laughs> hey, I, I like these games too, so, you know, it's my childhood, so I'll just shut up, like. If you're a 90s kid, like, I feel like it's a more elevated chance that you're a furry now, because <laughs> seriously, everything was like, Here's this hypersexualized rabbit. Here's this hypersexualized turtle <laughs> or something. And you're like, here's like torn a bandicoot. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> like, why are you? I'm a literal child. <laughs> anyway. Oh, these long load times. Oh. Oh, no. Jungle boogie uka cup. I knew it was one of them. Is it Uka or Uka? Comment below, I'll make a poll. I won't make a poll. Go Dingo, Dingo, Dingo. Dingo is bay. I should make a tier list of all of the Crash Bandicoot villains. Maybe. But it would just be opinion based. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> It's like, oh, you know, like... You know, the weirdest thing hit me the other day when I was thinking about uh, Crash Bandicoot characters and tier lists. I used to really just have no opinion about Coco Bandicoot. And I thought, yeah, it's because she doesn't say anything really in the games, in the original games. She just kind of stands there and doesn't have, like, anything to say. And I realized, no, she says everything. Crash doesn't say anything. And what I actually meant was, um, when you played her in the original games, she didn't really make any noise when you played her. She just kind of, like, they didn't record anything for her barks. Like, Crash goes, obviously, like, whoa, when he dies, or makes noises. Like, she didn't really used to make noises, as far as I can remember. Now, maybe it was just my version of the PS1 games was just super jank. Uh, and, like, busted, but, like, they got busted after a while. Holy shit, I used to have to punch the top of my... Yeah, I win. Dingadars emigrated to New Zealand, as you can see there. Proud migrant. <laughs> For those not in the know, what's the difference between the Australian and New Zealand flag? Now, obviously, Australians and New Zealanders know, but like, uh, if you're an idiot, or you just don't care about flags, or you have no reason to know, the difference is the New Zealand flag has four red stars in the shape of the Southern Cross, whereas the Australian flag has like five white stars, and there's a big white star underneath the uh, small little Union Jack in the corners. I'm still surprised they still haven't changed. Either of them have changed their, uh... Because, you know, they were, there's been talks for a while that New Zealand would change its flag. I remember back in, like, 2016 or something, they said they were going to change their flag to represent a little better that they're not really a colony anymore, because there's really not colonies like that anymore. I mean, I don't know if you'd count the Falkland Islands as a whole debate. But like, you know, it's just weird to me that Australia and New Zealand still just go, oh yeah, I have that, because it just does not reflect the country or its culture at all, it just has the Union Jack in the corner, and it's like, 
Yeah, in, in recent news, actually, the Maori uh, government said uh, the the Maori leadership government, I don't know, Maori section of like politics in New Zealand said, well, we should probably take the Queen off of our like coins. No, maybe not. That's not what they said. I think they said something about removing her as like their de facto head of state or something because it doesn't make any sense anymore. And I'm like, to be honest, she's on her way out anyway, isn't she? <laughs> face it sooner or later she's going to be off the coins and not the head of state because she's not she's transitioning to a new phase <laughs> like she's reaching her final form <coughs> this is where it turns out she was freezer all along like, as a brit i do not care for the royal family and i just see them as like that thing that we're told is good for tourism but are really just wealthy old boomers who are kind of like singular singularly responsible for a lot of problems during because you're, you're like oh yeah like oh uh, did, did i ever tell my story about i was i was doing sound at a summer festival for a band and i don't know if i should call out the band i don't know if they're still active they're from the u.s and they were like an indie rock band and the guy thought he was being very hipster and like cool but go hey guys you know, over in the USA, we got this thing called democracy. I can't believe you guys are still run by a monarch. And I'm like, this guy thinks that he's like really intelligent for making this political debate. You could feel that he was sincere. And I was like, oh, and I was sat in my like engineering booth like I should have cut his mic because no word of a lie. This is a summer festival in the center of Somerset, southern England, and the dead fucking silence he gets back, and he's like, uh, anyway, here's our next song, and I'm like, you fucking idiot. That's like Dave Mustaine going over to Ireland saying here's for the cause and playing anarchy in the UK levels of stupidity, which is something he also did, like, fucking idiot. <laughs> like... Oh, how come you guys are still run by a monarch dictator? We're not! <laughs> we haven't- She's just there as a figurehead, are you insane? Our oh, second's not bad. Beaten by pink monkey. Return to monk. People always get confused about the queen, though. She, she doesn't do anything, she's just like rich off of our money and she just has a lot of land and gets a lot of attention for being rich because that's apparently western society <laughs> like she's just a rich old boomer and we love to applaud those people so um didn't do anything to deserve it really she just kind of sat there and was rich and is famous for being rich so you know yeah yeah I don't have any strong opinions actually about her though, like, if I was going to say anything it's just that she's there and she just is there. <laughs> like, a lot of people are like for or against, it's a constant debate in my country. Should we get rid of the royals? Do we need the royals? Oh, it's on, it's on rid my ramp. And like, honestly my attitude is like, I don't care. Because I honestly have just, they've been there the whole time I've like been alive, obviously because, you know, I'm not, like, older than the Queen. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's always been her, and she's always been there, and I just kind of, like, don't ever think about it. I just see it as, like, that's a thing that's in our country. Why am I eighth? You know, why am I talking about the Queen? <laughs> So I'm losing now for some unknown reason, like the, the certain tracks, literally the AI is just jacked up a little bit more like in terms of like their difficulty and their overall speed and like it depends on the track you're playing and like the anticipated like again it's kind of like seasons, I've been seeing this a lot, I don't know if this is actually a thing but like season creep on a lot of stuff you know because a lot of stuff is like DLC or like brought out like over time now I feel like that's become like a big thing 
where like it gets harder as you go through the season and maybe it's to increase challenge or maybe it's to encourage you to buy the more stuff I don't know like in fighting games it's particularly bad because sometimes you will go through a whole season of stuff and then go oh look the AI's jacked up super hard on this like character so that they appear to be really good to people who don't understand the AI is literally just playing better for the season free character and etc. I used to get this a lot with like uh, some racing games too where the DLC car would always conveniently win and you're like mm, I feel like that's just the AI is trying to make it look better than it is. Can I get out of eight? I don't, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong here? I'm drifting and perfect drifting. Like, what do you want from me? Like, the perfect, 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 perfect. Hit the wall. It's not perfect. Perfect, perfect. Jump. Fucked it up. <laughs> what do you want? Why? You see what I mean? Like, oh yeah, sorry, you got out of eight for five seconds. Better spam missiles. And that literally, oh, it is going across the map. It just felt like that's, oh man. I, I think hard mode on this is harder than in the original games, but to be fair, the original games, I did play them a lot at the time, so I might not be able to 100% them now. So, you know, it's that kind of like, it might be me. I'm gonna have to do better on the next one. What the f? Seriously? Hey, hey, it's not. No, you can't have zero at seventh. Pasadena Opossum just wants to wreck your shit at the finish line. Just like. Dick move, man. No one even likes Pasadena Opossum. <laughs> Oh man. So I think I need, like, I think Rilla Roo is now one point ahead of me or something. He's not me off the top. Now, normally I'm really good at this track. Normally. I'm sure this will go well. Ah, oh, good work. Good. I will I will attack people for no reason. Look, the AI is kind of dick <coughs> at like it's on dick mode at like hard mode and it encourages you to kind of like get them back every time you go near them. You know what I mean? It's like, oh I've got this thing, I will ram into you. I've got this thing, I'll just shoot it at you. Like I'm just gonna constantly punish you for no reason. <laughs> Even if it's like a AI character that's not bothering you normally. DM first now. But out of time, I don't know what I'm doing on it, but I just, I think I'm driving too wide because you can see it's, it's tough with, tough with uh, Dingadar to get around the corners sometimes. <laughs> jumped on a guy's head. Oh, Koala Kong. Why are you here? Well, at least I'm ahead of Rilla Roo at the moment. Wherever he is. Haha, <laughs> I got a guy who's directly behind me. Now I'm the Pasadena Opossum. Opossum. Get it? Because she's an opossum. Ha. Uh, yeah, like, I don't think possums are very, like, good base animal to create like a furry character off of because they're not exactly like an endearing animal like necessarily well i mean yeah i've seen some good possums but like uh i've seen some good possums oh it fucking breaks <laughs> you know what i mean like you know you see some like possums on meme pics and stuff where they're like look he's cute and you're like uh they're a bit weird looking for my personal like taste i wouldn't have them as a pet 
But she's an opossum. Is that different? I'm not really a possum expert. Possum, opossum. So I want to explain the difference. Is there a difference? There's got to be a difference. Why are there two names? Oh, I hit the green and now my life is over because now the, the possum debate has returned. Seriously, everyone's just flying by me like I'm not here. What the hell? Ah, uh, why am I bad at the game? No, please don't kill me. I've got another lap, but like... No, give me cool stuff. I'm in fourth. You need to give me something better than a potion. Jump on ahead, jump on ahead, jump on ahead. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know if that did anyway. Oh, great. Oh, this is tense. I don't like it. Don't be tense. Oh my god, how? How? Why am I green? How did she do that? I was ahead of her. What, what even did I hit? This is not going well. I need to get more points. Oh my god, really? Oh, this is going... Oh no! I, I break turned and it's ruined everything and now I'm dead. Now everyone's killed me. I'm now a ghost. Oh, this is terrible. Yay, I beat Blue Cortex. I went from zero points to zero points. Seriously. And it's like you get stuck behind for even a little bit and the AI just roasts you for the rest of the race. Like, you can't break out after that. Like, that's how I feel sometimes. See, they're whizzing by me and I have a mask. Like, I'm supposed to be fast. Fifth. Life is over. Fifth. No point. No point means no prize. Even though he didn't do any good either. Oh, that was a waste of time. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I'm not good at the kart racer. I'm so sad. Where? Oh, the loading is taking forever. This is just so we can watch some other guy win. Like, who wants to do that? Just get it over with. Yeah, it's not me. Oh, why is he wearing banana? Oh, that's so weird. Well, I know why he's wearing, but like, that's a weird. Ugh.